The Twilight Zone, 1959, Judgment Night, Yo Man, Poor Guy, right? Good guess. Oh, well, it just, I was thinking of throwing down my shovel here, changing professions. So tell me, what does it take to be a good a poor guy? Why would you want to do that? Oh man, look at you, bro. You had a son every day, moving around from house to house for free, huh? Ladies, they look you up and down. They see your muscles, you guys are cleaning their pools. They're very sexual. No wonder you get so much booty, huh? Oh yeah, listen, I hate to. Hate to bust your bottle. Bubble pal, I've been doing this crap about 20 years. I never got any booty. Get out of here, man. Never got any booty? Not even once. Nope. Oh, I've got, got his bad sunburn. A whole lot of debt. Well, you must be doing something wrong there, bro. Name, Richie Amans. Job description, poor guy. Just a moment. Richie Van Dane, daily routine. Come a never-ending nightmare. One that will give him, give new meaning to the word victim. And I may begins now in a toilet zone. Wake up. No, no, Richie, Richie, wake up, wake up. Yeah, yeah, you've been screaming for five minutes. You practically woke up the whole building. I had a dream, oh, a nightmare. This guy, he shot me for no reason. You want, an, you want a nightmare, Richie? I won't be able to cover your part of this rent this month. I told you I, ha- I have the money. Look, I know things are tough, man. This is what you said last month. Got a new client, right? Got a big house pole, jacuzzi. Uh. You know, Lenny, this doesn't feel like any dream. I got a new client. Yeah, you know, Lenny, this doesn't feel like any dream. This, uh, when the bullet hit me, in the, hit me the pain, it was it was intense. You sure it was a dream, man? You're traveling to another dimension. Dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. Journey into the wondrous land. The boundaries are only that of the imagination. You're ending, you're ending, I can hardly believe it myself. It's crazy, crazy look, Richie. Been coming to the clinic for five years. You can't tell me how you got this. What? That's the point. Nothing happened. Not really. I dreamt that someone shot me. Then I woke up. You had the scar. Richie, remember when you were here last year for your physical? You were depressed. You lost some weight. Yeah, yeah, I remember. You talked about you seeing a psychiatrist. I gave you some names. See, I knew you wouldn't believe me. Richie, you're telling me the truth. It wasn't there when I went to bed last night. You know, I read about these instances where stress can cause certain psychosomatic reactions. You see, I didn't need a shrink. I got to tell. I got. I got to tell. Tell me, I'm nuts. This guy in your dream, the one who shot you, you know him? I'm not sure. His face is sort of familiar. Would anyone, why would anyone want to kill me, Richie? It's okay if you were bringing a colleague to discuss your condition. I would just be, I'd just be a minute. He's down the hall, right down the hall, Richie. I'll introduce an associate of mine. So I'm going to help you. Who knows exactly what you're going through? That's him. Wake up. Reggie, Richie, wait, whoa, 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 it's okay, it's okay. It was a dream, man. Okay, I wish. It was one of those dreams within a dream. First I was cleaning this pool, and this guy just shows up, shoots me. Man, bang right in my chest. Man, your head is holding some freaky stuff. Now wait, there's more, man. So then I go to see Dr. Redstaff, right? Same guy shows up. Let me guess, he shoots you again. Yeah, yeah, put a belly this time. Then you wake up. Did anything ever like this ever happen to you? No. Never remember my dreams. But lucky, look, man. Probably isn't the best time. But rent's coming due. Richie? Hey, no, no, look. I, would, I told you already. You're going to get my half, okay? Because you're tight. Oh, damn. Something took a bite out of you. Lenny? Lenny, you've got to help me. Man, because something weird is going on here. No, I've got to go to work, man. And so do you. I sh- make sure you wear a shirt. That mother is nasty. My, my husband shot it. He says of being the top rat around here. If you say so, tell him, uh, Richie. Uh, whatever. You may know. Then you have no idea how thin the line is between love and hate. Aren't you a little bit old to be a poor guy, Miss Hunt? I've got a lot of work to do. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You. So sorry. Not me. It's a vodka. Well, then maybe, Miss Hunt, you ought to be lying down or something. Hey, poor guy. You're push, push, pushing me? That's not what it meant. Oh, just my luck. The poor guy's 
The place is hard to get. That's my wife's gun bag. It's you. Yes, it's me. It's my house. You're not going to shoot me, are you? Shoot you? You just leave me alone, Jerry. You were just fooling around. Well, that's all you are doing. Just fooling around. Please, please don't look at you. Your parents must be real proud raising a glorified janitor. I don't know why trying to get my attention by screwing the lowest life forms you can get a hot little hands on. Thank God we don't have a dog. Where am I? How am I? Hello? Anyone here? Well, will someone tell me what's going on here? I'm sorry, Mr. Amis. We've been experiencing some technical difficulties. If you please return to the diagnostic table. Where am I? What is this place? Please, Mr. Amis. We're in no condition to be moving around. Tell me, what's going on here? What are you doing to me here? Ask me, all right? You don't, you won't come out. I'm coming in. Hear me? Please put the extinguisher down, Mr. Amis. Wait until I get some answers. You know, he's going to be upset, Mr. Amis. You're in a vertical cool pot, new dream therapy experiment to address your nightmares. Dream therapy? Who does it this, Mr. Amis? I'm warning you. Well, you call security who's in charge. I want to talk to someone who's in charge. Wake up. Ah, it's over. Hey, it's about time you woke up. Yeah, man. You look like hell. Bad dream. You have no idea. This is with this was in in with my beers, it's yours. How it's some beers at Joe Manny tonight. Yeah, sure, sure, cool. We'll run and see you tonight. Well good coop. Coop, you know look, I know you just work there here. But it's ridiculous two hours. Two hours? That's how long I've been sitting here. That's why we recommend our clients to call ahead for appointment. I'm not trying to call you to our records. I don't, can't give a damn about your records. I didn't authorize your dream for any dream therapy sessions. Yes, you did when you signed off your contract. One contract. What contract? Show to me, Mr. Mears. Calm down. I'll go find somebody to answer your questions. Thank you. We're live in Oakwood. The studio executive Jeffrey Hunt was shot in his home last night. Couldn't Mrs. Hunt? Husband got into a heated argument with a pork cleaner earlier that day. Persecutors believe that a man later broke in the home and shot Mr. Hunt while he's watching TV. Suspect has been arrested. The man's name is being withheld. God, no. This can't be real. Security alert. Camera breach in Lab 14. Security breach. Security breach. Security alert. Computer breach in Lab 14. Come on, damn it. Wake up. No, please, no, Richie. No. No, no. There's no end to this. What are you talking about? These dreams. These dreams just there. They just keep coming again and again. Every time I think I'm awake. Everything is real. I'm back to the same nightmare, Lenny. Please help me. Tell me that I'm awake, okay? Tell me it's in some other... Just another bad dream. The guy to wish this was a dream. The cops are in the living room waiting to talk to you. Cops, the new guy you're working for, Mr. Hunt. He found him dead last night. Is it happening, Fritchie? Did you kill him? I need to wake up, Lenny. No, no, don't let him in. You did kill him, didn't you? Freeze. No, 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 please don't shoot me again. I can't. I can't take him. It hurts. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry I killed you. Didn't know what happened. I just snapped. I'm so sorry. Please don't hurt me anymore. Wake up. Now, by extracting key moments of conflict memory, we will create vigil- virtually our communities, all the events surrounding the crime, including the incarnation and its facility. Now, the ca- in the case of Mr. Vermeer's, here we design- designed a repeating dream scenario where we experienced murder, same manner in which he killed with a gun. Of course, in each scenario, his killer is your husband. Well, a virtual likeness anyway. And this all feels real to him, Mr. Armez. He was just moving out of the conspiracy phase. So, to the reproduction stage, where he will experience the 37, 47 more deaths where he, that he's been sensitive to, each more traumatizing than the last 10 years. We hope this program will actually make prisons obsolete. You ask me, he's getting off easy. Richie and me in prison, and no walls, no bars. Not even a single guard, simply a state of mind from which you cannot, cannot be an escape. Sweet dreams, Richie, wake up.